And here's what doesn't work long-term. Nootropics or brain supplements, vitamins, or even special diets. I'm here to tell you that if you have adrenal fatigue, your brain fog is reversible and your brain can heal. Brain fog is one of the most frustrating, frightening, and misunderstood symptoms of adrenal fatigue. Many of my patients describe it as though they've not only lost their clarity, their memory, their ability to think straight, but they've actually lost themselves. What we casually call brain fog is much more than just being forgetful or a little absent-minded. It encompasses a wide range of cognitive issues. You might struggle with short-term memory or finding the right words. Maybe you feel like you can't focus on anything. You might even notice that you're irritable and your ability to make decisions is impaired. It's as though your brain has slowed down and it is frightening. Many researchers have compared the cognitive dysfunction caused by adrenal fatigue to that of an aging brain or even one that has suffered trauma. But why does this happen? Why does stress, and specifically adrenal fatigue, create such profound cognitive challenges? Well, those six reasons. Number one, oxidative stress. We need to understand that stress hormones like cortisol cause oxidative stress throughout the body, including the brain. Think of it like this. They're little free radicals, these tiny electrically charged molecules. They're bouncing around like pinballs, damaging everything they hit, cells, tissues, even your brain tissue. The longer you're exposed to high levels of stress hormones, the more damage these free radicals cause. Number two, excess stress hormones change the balance of the neurotransmitters in your brain. And these chemicals are responsible for mood, focus, memory, and overall cognitive function. And when they're disrupted, you can experience everything from anxiety to depression and to severe brain fog. Number three is neural pattern changes. Under prolonged stress, your body goes into survival mode, and it's more concerned with keeping you alive than letting you remember where you left your keys or helping you to focus at work. This shift diverts your brain's resources away from memory and cognition. Number four is blood flow. When you're under stress, your, your body it, it prioritizes getting blood to these critical areas like your muscles for fight or flight, and this leaves less blood for your brain. It's like the elevator can't quite reach the top floor. And without sufficient blood flow, your brain doesn't get the oxygen or the nutrients it needs to function properly. Number five is inflammation in the brain. Adrenal fatigue suppresses the immune uh, function, causing secondary issues like uh, food allergies or chronic infections that cause inflammation in the brain. And a brain that's inflamed has no chance at focus, clarity, or calm. Number six is low energy and fatigue. The brain consumes about 25% of your daily energy supply. So when your energy is low due to adrenal fatigue, your brain doesn't get the fuel it needs. And the result, slowed processing speed, difficulty with multitasking, tasking and overall cognitive fatigue. So we've got oxidative stress, neurotransmitter imbalance, altered neural patterns, decreased blood flow, neuroinflammatory issues, and a lack of energy in the brain. It's actually not a mystery why the brain doesn't work in my patients with adrenal fatigue. At the beginning of the video, I said that brain fog is reversible. And it's true, although reversible, it might be a misleading word. There's no magic pill or one modality you can do to fix that. But once you heal the root cause, then the brain fog fades away. I've seen countless patients struggle with these symptoms. And here's what doesn't work long term. Nootropics or brain supplements, vitamins, or even special diets. I mean, they, might hurt, they might help temporarily, but I do say might. They don't fix the problem at its root. They won't give you consistent long-term relief because brain fog isn't just a brain problem, it's actually an adrenal problem. Brain fog doesn't have to be permanent. It's not dementia. You're not stuck in this fog forever. I'll drop the link for help in the description. All my best.